HMS Protector, the Royal Navy's new ice patrol ship, has begun her first deployment. She and her crew will spend nearly eight months in the South Atlantic Oceans doing vital scientific work and helping the British Antarctic Survey. Our reporter, Tim Cooper, joined Protector for the first part of her journey from Portsmouth to Plymouth. Despite the darkness and increasingly inclement weather, people wanted to wave off HMS Protector as she slipped out of Portsmouth Harbour. Taking over from the stricken HMS Endurance, Protector's mission will engage her 55 crew in vital scientific work, not least conducting hydrographic surveys of the Antarctic seabed. We now have some very sophisticated equipment on board the uh, bottom of the ship, um, which can measure a, a whole swathe of data in a, in, in a single ping um, and send all that data back to us. Um, and we, we can gather a whole swathe of data at a time, depending on the depth, anything up to you know, three, four, five kilometres width at a time. Much of the Antarctic Oceans have never been surveyed, so no one really knows what's down there. The information from HMS Protector will go into charts that will help mariners from cruise ships to scientific expeditions. It's uh, very interesting to see what's down there, really. So down there, we've found a lot of volcanoes and that sort of thing, so it's a bit more than just flatlands down there, so it's a bit more interesting. Data can also be gathered from deployable small ships, and even on the ice itself, in the hold, once a basketball court for the last civilian operators, are multi-tracked vehicles for use on ice. And the hold gives us a clue to the work needed to navalise HMS Protector, which started off just six months ago as the Polar Bjorn. It's been a major challenge getting this ship ready for deployment, and one thing that has been difficult is turning a civilian ship into a military Royal Naval vessel. There aren't the workshop spaces that you'd find on any regular Navy ship, but they came up with an ingenious solution, bringing these containers on board. This one works as an office, you've got another that's a medical supply room, another as an engineer's workshop. And for the crew, living and working on board is a new experience. It's quite luxurious to what, I, what I've been previously used to, 52-man mess decks and things like that. So, uh, yeah, it's quite enjoyable. Um, gives you a sense of, um, sort of like, your own space. As we continue our journey, the weather worsens. Force 8, gusting Force 10. Protector's hull is designed to smash ice. The payoff, though, is less stability than you'd expect. But despite some greenness around the crew, everyone is pleased to be on their way south. We're delighted to be away. The ship and the ship's company have been worked very hard in the last few months preparing us for our deployment and we're now ready to go in all respects. Aside from hydrographic work, Protector will also show a British presence in the Antarctic, visiting other nations' scientific stations on the ice and also helping scientists from the British Antarctic Survey. As we leave the ship at Plymouth, we're left in no doubt that HMS Protector's deployment is unique and special within the Royal Navy. It's also going to be challenging, working in the world's most inhospitable region, to bring us all more knowledge about just what's there. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Plymouth.